Hi. It's me, the preacher from the Philippines. And um, Mr. Pat Condell. I'd like you to know, sir, that um, you will not escape the wrath of God. All blasphemers and mockers of God will surely be tormented in hell. Pat Condell, you are. Man full of Satan, full of darkness. You are just kicking against the bricks. Why are you so full in not believing in God? I have to tell you this, Mr. Pat Condell. Your days are now numbered. God will assure you burn in hell. You will never escape the wrath of God for the blasphemy and mocking that you do against God. You mock God, you will surely be burned in hell. Deny Jesus, then you'll be burned in hell. Deny the Holy Spirit, you will be burned in hell. Whatsoever a man saw it, that shall he also reap. God is not mocked. Mr. Pat Condell, there will be a payday for all the blasphemy mocking that you do against God. You, Pat Condell and Richard Dawkins, the two of you will stand before God on Judgment Day. When you will see this great God sitting on his great throne with power and majesty, it will be the greatest shock. You will wish that you have believed in God. You are just fighting against the bricks. That is why the Bible says, pretending themselves to be wise, they became fools. For the preaching of the cross is foolishness to them who are about to be tormented in hell. You and all atheists around the world, Pat Condell, Richard Dawkins, Scottish atheists, you will never, never escape the wrath of God. The Bible is very clear, John chapter 3, verse 18. He who does not believe is already condemned. But he who believes in God, in the name of Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, will not, will surely be damned in hell if you will not believe in him. Mr. Pat Condell, you and Richard Dawkins, Brian Fleming, founder of this evil website, the blasphemychallenge.com, the God with all of this. At this around the world, I have to tell you this, your days are now numbered. You can mock God temporary, you can deny him, blaspheme him, but for how long, Mr. Pat Condell? You are just kicking against the brick. How old are you, Mr. Pat Condell? 65 years old, 70 years, six years old. How long do you think you will still be living on this planet ten more years and after that what eternal pain eternal punishment you cannot fight against this great God the creator of this universe the almighty God his name is Jesus Christ Jesus Christ created everything he created these billions of galaxies, billions of stars, billions of planets, moon, insects and animals, ocean, seas, mountains, even you, Pat Kundal. What are you doing? You're so unthankful and ungrateful. You mock this great God, the creator of the universe, Mr. Pat Kundal. You are just kicking against the bricks. That is why the Bible is very clear. The fool hath said in his heart that there is no God. 
They are crowned. They have done abominable work. This is you, Mr. Bob Kundal. All at the east around the world. Psalms chapter 19, verse 1. The heavens declares the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. The heaven declares the glory of God, Mr. Bob Kundal. Shame on you. You are just the creations of God. You and Richard Dawkins and Brian Fleming, all of you at the east. You will not escape the wrath of God. Oh, my, my, my. I could believe what you are doing. Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. But the cowardly, unbelieving, those who at the east who doesn't like to believe in God, Abominable murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, liars, idolaters shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. This will be your eternal home. I am telling all of you now, at these around the world, Richard Dawkins, Bob Condell, you, Brian Fleming, the three of you, you will not escape the wrath of God for being so. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. Nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. You see? You can never and will never understand about God, about the spiritual matter. You know why? Because you are full of evil, full of darkness. to you, Mr. Bob Condell, for being so fool. The reason why I'm doing this, I have to give you a warning. This is my job as a preacher. I've been a preacher of God for the past 36 years, Mr. Bob Condell. I'm a minister, ordained minister. I am a senior pastor. I'm the president of our organization. I went to Bible college. I took a bachelor class. I'm a teacher, missionary. The Bible is crusaders, evangelists, and I have 36 years of experience in preaching the of God. Therefore, I'm assuring all of you that I know what I'm talking about. This is one thing that I can assure you, Mr. Patundel. You will be burning hell at the hottest part of hell, where worms do not die. All of you at the east around the world. All of you unbelievers who doesn't like to believe in God. Shame on you. All of you Muslims who doesn't like to acknowledge that Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of God. Muhammad cannot save you. Allah cannot save you because Allah is not God. All of you Buddhists, Buddha cannot save you. He cannot even save himself because he was just a man, created, creation of Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormon, Roman Catholic Church, all those who practice Islam, Scientology, Hare Krishna, you, Oprah Winfrey, your days are numbered. You will surely be burned in hell. All of you who mock and blaspheme God, you will never, never escape the wrath of God. Matthew chapter 12, verses 13. Every idle word the man will speak, they will give account of it in the day of judgment. For by your words you will be justified or be condemned. All of you these are now condemned because of, out of your own testimony you deny and reject God. So therefore you are now condemned to hell for eternity. One of you will escape hell and die. Psalms chapter 9 verse 17. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. All of you wicked, all of you at ease, you 